Hello! This video will show you how to get the most out of tables. Tables provide an efficient format to store and organize information. For example, in this editorial calendar, each article has tags, deadlines, and people assigned. What makes Notion tables so special is that they are dynamic. Each row can be opened as its own page, and you can pick different ways to view your data. I'll go through each of these concepts now. What are properties? There are pieces of information about each entry in your table, like deadline. As you can see, in table view, each property is represented as a column. Notion lets you work with many different types of properties, like dates, people, single select menus, multi-select menus, numbers, text, and more. Depending on the type of property, you'll get different options. For instance, if you have a date property column, clicking on it will bring up a calendar to choose a date. If you have a person property column, you'll be prompted to tag people in your workspace. You can hide any of these columns by clicking on the property name and selecting hide. Alternatively, toggle off the properties you want to hide. Hiding properties can be useful when you have a lot of information in your table, but only want to focus on some of it. For instance, let's say that today, all you want to view in the sales CRM is companies, emails, and status. You can hide everything else like this. As I mentioned, every item you add to a table can be opened as its own Notion page. There, you can keep as much information as you want about that item in one place. So, for example, if you're working on this story about tips and tricks, you can open this page to keep all your research, images, interview recordings, and more. Everything you need to make this story a success is right here. You can even add pages inside the page if you want to store multiple drafts, for instance. Add as many layers of information as you want. Now let's say you want to quickly see the status of all your sales leads. In the View menu, you can add a view, which I will call By Status. Then select Board and Status here. Voila! Now you have a Kanban board where every lead is its own card, grouped by status, and you can easily drag and drop any card to move it through your process. When you create different views, you can easily switch between them in the View menu and look at whichever view is most helpful for you at the time. Views become even more helpful when you apply filters and sorts to the data in your table. Let's say you only want to see leads that are high priority. You can create a new view that's also a table, but then apply that particular filter by going here and changing the criteria to Priority Contains High. Your table will change immediately to only show leads that match that criteria. And because you've created a new view, you can now switch between your unfiltered table and filtered table with a couple of clicks. The same thing works when you apply a sort. No need to reinvent the wheel each time. Those are the basics, but there are a few more cool things you can do with tables. If you already have existing data in, say, an Excel or Google Sheet, you can add it to your Notion table. To do this, Go to the three-dot menu at the top right corner of your page and select Merge with CSV. If your text is too long for the width of your column, you can click on the Wrap Cells options, which you can find in the table's three-dot menu. You can also use tables for calculations. Hover over the bottom of each column, and here you'll find the Calculate option. Click on it, and a few options will show up. These depend on the type of information the column contains. For a number column, you can sum up the numbers or calculate an average. For a dates column, you can calculate your data's date range. That's pretty much the gist. For more information, please watch our other videos on database views. Have fun creating your first table with Notion.